Did you just get the 6K studio camera? Or you're thinking about it? I've already established in another video the lenses, the two choices of lenses that can work with your demands, focus and zoom, and they are not affordable. So if you're looking for a cheap option, there's only one, but there's a catch. Ready? Um, all right, guys, um, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Alec Godwin, and um, I'm going to go straight to the point. If you can't afford to buy those Canon zoom lens, well, this option is also a Canon lens. A lot of good jobs were done with those um, zoom lenses, um, with those Panasonic and Olympus lenses. Um, this lens, I would say, is in the realm of that. Uh, or rather, you tell me what you think because you're watching me through the lens right now um, on this lens. And now this is the Sony A7 IV, um, 35, 1.4. And this is the lens we are talking about. It's the Canon 18 to 135 with a variable aperture of 3.5 to 5.6. Right now, the aperture is 4.8 because I'm zoomed in a little bit. I mean, we are under the same lighting condition with the 1.4. This is the image quality you will get from the lens. So you tell me what you think. Actually, for this lens, you don't need the... And, oh, that's a giveaway. Other cables can work on it as well. So, but we'll talk about that later um, in, the, in the next video. I did say it was the next video, but uh, I had to knock this one out. For, you can only work with this guy. Okay, I'm trying not to touch it because it would alter the focus right now. That's why I said there's a catch. Now, on this one, the zoom will not work. Even though the zoom rocker can... The zoom, um, this one can control the camera in other ways. Okay, that's why I said... Now my focus is off. All right, and now I'm forced to do a demonstration. And I will push to focus. Let's see. Controlling the lens. Now, now we've just went out of focus, which I didn't want to show on this video, but uh, I guess I'm forced to. Now I'm going to push. Um, I can use this for more than just zoom. So here we go. I'm pushing on this button here. And uh, let's see. Push to focus. And uh, here we go. See that? So you still need this, it still controls the lens, and a lot more. We'll talk about that in another video. Let me not get distracted. You know, I'm, I'm really excited for Blackmagic project, and I think if this whole setup is applied to the pocket cinema cameras, and even the um, Ursus, their cinema cameras, all in general, Blackmagic cameras will sell a lot more. Trust me, they will sell a lot more. I think they need to implement this thing on. It's not going to affect the, the sales of the camera. They are this is still a studio camera. That is still a cinema camera. The others are still pocket cameras. But it will only make more sales. After all, they are the same price. You are not really going to kill one market over the other. You know, who doesn't want the tally light on the... Um, on the on the set in a professional set? It looks it makes it look more professional. This sensor has been known to make even cheap lenses look great. So, I mean, even if it's cheap, it looks good. If the lighting is right and the, and you're not actually zooming and it's not showing um, the fall in um, exposure, you're good. Now, the cinema camera is 4.4, which is a little bit faster than what we have right now because we're at 4.8 f-stop. Um, so you imagine that it would just be a little bit brighter than this, you know, which you probably still have to stop it down to get your right exposure or something. But this lens is a second or third version, or, you know. The original one was, was, wasn't was with this um, electronic uh, um, component. So when they updated the lens, they put the uh, chip so you can handle this stuff. So you may not find them, you may not buy them together, you may not find them together. You may have to buy them separately, okay? 
unless somebody is selling an, a used one and yeah so i bought i bought from different stores and it quite worked together it comes with four but um it requires four batteries but it doesn't come with four batteries okay so you, you need uh four of these here's the device as the electronic uh, component and it should go with this one and here are your settings you have manual zoom, which is no zoom. So your lens, so you could control your lens and zoom and focus with your hands. And the PZ, PZ, uh, that is a power zoom. And then this light will come on if you're connected. We have fast and slow. And of course, your telephoto and wide. Um, then finally your lock. These are clips. These two are clips that holes fits into this spot. So let's uh, put them together. First, let's get the battery in. This is the battery compartment. And you push to open. Okay, so we already have uh, two of the batteries. So we're going to add two more. Two of them are flipped up in different directions. So this is how your arrangement will be. Push in. Gotta apply a little bit of force. Yep, and we are good. Um, let's uh, lock them together. Now we'll take off this. Take off this first. And let's get this, match this stuff together. Not this way. It stays within the body of the lens. So try. let's try to um, align. Let me do it vector vertically so you can see. And on this side, where the lock is, you end with the side where the lock is. So let's put this and this side, push. Okay, so we are in now. It's just the lock. Push it in and lock. Now it stays in place. We are good. Now, as you can see, the power light doesn't come on. Does not come on until we connect to the camera. Now, there are some settings on the lens itself. If you don't want to use that, you want to go manual with your hands, you turn it, there's a switch to turn it off. And then uh, when you put it on PZ, uh, which is a power zoom, the zoom rocker st becomes stiff. You can't adjust it anymore because the machine takes over. And um, when it's set on fast, there are two speeds, fast and slow. It goes at the same speed till it gets to the end. Um, how much is it again? You could get the set for about 500 bucks. Uh, so for about 500 bucks, you could be rocking with this uh, set. And um, it's a set of its own. So so I think this lens, is a, it has a good range. 18, wide enough. 135, long enough. That could be all you need. Now the only challenge is the zooming in um, with the uh, variable aperture. So what I would advise is you probably, you know, you probably should have a second camera to cut away to. You probably not show the zoom process. You probably cut away to the next camera, you know, zoom in and then adjust your exposure. 
in the right set, it probably not even be noticed. And one thing I like about the BSC CSK Pro is that um, while you're zooming, you could push the push to focus, which is well, which of course this will be behind the camera if you have one of these. If you don't have this, you there's a button you could uh, assign to it, which it came factory setting. Yes, it came as that. Push to focus. I think it's F3. If when you push that, it focuses. You know on the center though now i know i'm going to still get those um the zoom hopefully not the two but i mean if it um you could rock with this one so that uh you know you don't jump in to get the expensive one and you don't have paid in job yet to to get by so and i'll tell you in the next video why you really need still need why you still need the the zoom demands and focus demands okay thank you guys for watching like subscribe comment share and i'll see you guys in the next video